Eco Mac, man, you know how we do it, man. We bridge the community through what? Hip hop. You already know what it is, man. Out here in the beautiful Euless Bedford area, or I guess it's Euless yes, area, you it. know what I'm saying? Euless Bedford okay, area. Okay, you we got up it. the HEB, is what they call it, man. Yeah. Here, here, man, we, we, we always have a good time, man, out here, man. And I'm with my man, I'm telling you, my brother, my supporter, my mentor, yeah. my friend, my colleague, my I mean, man, yeah, whatever yeah, you want to yeah, call yeah, him, that's, that's what he is. Let him know who you are, bro. E. Wilson, executive director of the JTC Exchange. What is the JTC? JTC stands for Join the Conversation. Exchange means exchanging the conversation, which means it's two ways so everybody can get something out of it. And the bottom line, we say if you're gonna have a conversation, make it a good one. We're out here in the community. We're a nonprofit organization going around the world, spreading positive conversation to things that are going on in communities around the world, whether it's the schools, whether it's the prisons. Our thing is, what is the problem? What can we do to fix it? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go and fix it. Wow, wow! And, so, I, and I, y'all see it, y'all. And every time you see him, he go, he, he wearing himself, <laughs> yeah, baby. He branding. Yeah, yeah, he's a good yeah, brother, man. And I want to yeah, say, uh, yeah, yeah, put it out there. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all yeah. on the back, y'all yeah, on the, yeah, like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? All, yeah. all over the place, all man. All over the place. And uh, uh, I want to <laughs> thank him personally, real quick, man, yeah. for his donation to Maroon Nine, man, helping yeah. these uh, sickle cell. Uh, uh, patients and stuff like that. People dealing with this disease, man. Helping us to do some work here in our community, man, to, to help in, with some needs of, of medical and everything like that, man. So that that donation, man, really is going to help, uh, man. Really, right, right now we out here in the in this park, man. We and we talking about JTC on the move, man. Tell us how long you've been in existence. And again, like I said, what you do, and also with your prison ministry, mm -hmm. just just go, just go all in, go man. Let our family know what's up, man. Go all in. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, listen, JTC, like I said, stands for Join the Conversation. Uh, we've been coming up on eight years in February, um, started down here when there was suicides going on in the Metroplex back in 2006. Organization was formed in 2009. Here we are today, 2016, get ready to go to 2017. Wow. Um, started off with men who were dealing with relationship issues and things like that. Our thing is always, can we come together? You know, it's almost like Rodney King said, can we all get along? Can we yeah. come together and have a dialogue? And we right. just realize like having insurance uh, you don't know how good your insurance is until you have an accident. Mm. So you don't mm. know how good the people or your support system is until you run into a situation. Is there a support system in place that can handle your situation and pull you out of it? And not only that, take you to the next level so you can help somebody else. Wow. So we've been doing that. And then my thing was, okay, what about the youth? So we went over to the high school. Uh, we started mentoring there. I just went over there to just to see how we can help. Uh, I don't know, pick up trash. We here to serve, baby. I <laughs> yeah. walked out to school with a book, a binder, and all that in the class saying, can I come back the next week? Wow. And so we wound up creating a mentoring team uh, over here at Euless Trinity High School. And so there's around eight to nine of us. You know, it's fluctuated over the years. But this is our sixth year Wow. that we've been in there. And our students, wow. one of the main things uh, with high school and with youth is they want to know if we care. And when I first went there, um, the joke was because they had so many mentors come and go. The joke was, um, are you going to come back? Mm. And I told them, I said, listen, I take this serious. You all are serious. Young men, young women, 10th, 11th, 12th graders. I'm here because I want to be and I want to see. I said, you are future. We, yeah. I need you. Right. You know, who's going to take care of me when I get older? We huh. need you. I don't know right. what you've been told, but we need you. And yeah. after six years, that mm. joke is dead. Uh, yeah, you okay? get that. <laughs> the joke is dead. I came week, and every yeah. week, it just, and when we gave them surveys to ask them how they enjoyed the class at the end of the year, uh, and the main thing they said was they knew we cared because we kept showing up. Wow. Which goes to show that wow. you don't have to be a genius. Yeah. Do you love? Do you care? The words and everything have come together, man. So we've yeah. been doing that, man. We've been going up to New York for Storm Sandy in 2012 when the whole East Coast got hit with all that water and right. cars floating down. We took a truck up there, you know, and you say, why did you take a truck? Well, yeah. I'm not name dropping to know none of the big organizations, but right. I, I just couldn't send some money to an organization or something okay. like that. So my thing right. was, how can I know what's going to get there? I'm going to take the truck Let myself. Went on up there, right to the heart, to Brooklyn uh, Christian Culture Center, Pastor A.R. Bernard, World Ride Ministry, you know, yeah. all over TBN and, and, and for years now. And then we also um, went to PS52 in Sheepshead Bay to drop off clothes, food, toys. 
And so, you know, that's just some of the stuff. Also, always done reached over to Nairobi, Kenya, uh, where we have a partner out there, Pastor Markalis, you know, who we wow. were able to send food. We were able to get a motorcycle for this man. He'd been on, walking now. for 14 years what? doing full-time ministry. Ooh. And now we were able to raise the funds to get him a motorbike wow. where he's now riding around. And the, and the moral of it, when his daughter came on to say thank you, she said, thank you, JTC. Um, because my father can get around quicker, yeah. but also he can be home with us. Ooh, we so when you talk, more. when you yeah. talk about Ramon, uh, Maroon Nine, yeah, this is why we donated. It's because there's a family out there that's saying we can eat tonight. There's a family out there when y'all bless them that's saying, you know what? Um, this caretaker can go out to the movies and get their head clear so they can come back and be fresh. You guys are meeting needs right now, and that's what JTC is about. Wow. Meeting needs now. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I'm all for research for yeah. sickle cell, and yeah. we need to research. <laughs> uh, but the billions of dollars that's sent into research can go. Some of it can go to some of these families who yeah. are really struggling right now. Yeah. Yeah. Because time, if they ain't found a cure yet, uh -huh. by the time the cure comes, all these people will be gone. Yeah. Wow. All these people be gone. Wow. Wow. Right. That's a real talk, man. And if you're just tuning in, my man E. Wilson right here, man, King E. But whatever you want to call him, bro, he's he he's just a good brother right here, man. And uh, like I said, I know we talked about you know you do, helping the children and everything like that, man. Uh, you do a great job, and you also do a prison ministry as well, man. Uh, uh, let us know a little bit about yeah. that. Well, the prison ministry came about about a year ago. I ran into a brother uh, named Pastor Paul Ibarra, and he told me that they had linked up uh, with Mike Barber Ministries, which Mike Barber's been doing prison. If you don't know who Mike Barber is, he used to be on the Houston Oilers. Back in okay. the 70s and 80s with Bum Phillips and Billy White, Shoe Johnson, Earl Cam and all them. Okay. But he's been doing prison ministry over 30-something years. So I went in last December, and I was, brother, we were in there for eight hours. I was done. Mm -hmm. I was done at the impact we were able to make, at the brothers who really were so grateful. You know how it is when you want somebody to come visit and people don't stop by your house? Imagine being in there. Yeah. And sometimes it's years. Mm -hmm years mm -hmm. even some of the people that you might have helped mm -hmm. or you right. got in trouble with right. don't come back so right. when we come in there man with the love of god man and we just love on these guys and encourage them man it has meant the world so we went from there to then now going in ourselves um up to snyder texas and then up to um cold township Pens uh pennsylvania uh reverend chaplain michael common and you know, where I go and just encourage them. We put together, as you saw, a yeah. video presentation with different people on there encouraging them because we really want them to know that you are not alone and right. there's people out there who care. And while we on the prison thing, real quick, Miles, we'll hit this. Yeah, I, I, I shared this with you last time, but for those who see, this is letters since it's been six trips to the prison. All right. Yeah. And we got a couple hundred letters in here of King sharing thank yous sharing some of their stories, you know, sharing how it's been years since somebody has visited them and how much they appreciate it. So these letters, like I just told you today, I done went to the P.O. box, picked up some, dropped off some, and um, it's an ongoing conversation, man. So when wow. you got kings in there, yeah, and they talk about JTC on the move, yeah. and when they talk about, yeah, at the end of the letter, yeah, King E, don't forget, if you're going to have a conversation, make it a good one, wow. we're saying it's about impact. Mm. It's about impact. It's not about the slogan or, or, or the phrase that we use. Is is that phrase helping? Yeah. And we're seeing right here in this book. Yeah. Yeah. That this this represents life, and that wow. it's working, man. And, and and this has probably been out of everything that we've done. I'm, I'm just gonna just gonna have to rank it up there with number one <laughs> of all the things that we've done a lot: food, clothes, yeah. toys. I mean, walks, yeah. all that. Yeah. But going in there, like my boy Rodney True Story would say, you know, going into the places where people think ministry ain't working. Wow. It's working. It's working. It's wow. Working. And I know you told me a story, and it's, it's similar to when you're working with the children. And it, it was, it was, they always say, are you coming back? Are you coming back? Yeah. Are you coming it's back? It's so critical whether, whether you get involved in anything with you, uh, high school, or, um, you know, baseball teams, soccer, we got to understand that. Like we say about the athletes, you know, they're on some kind of a level. So people expect a certain behavior for them. Well, we talk about them, but what about us? Mm -hmm. When we get involved with youth, they, a lot of these kids out here don't have fathers. Yeah. A lot of these boys and girls. So especially when men get involved. Right. A father has stepped into it, whether you know it or not. 
And the kids, and when they can see you care, they automatically become um, attached to you. And so it's critical to know that as we're interacting with the youth, that we're really handling a fragile glass. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we just break out. Well, without no explanation, we just quit the team, quit whatever we're doing. Well, if their daddy did that, Hmm. if they're in foster care and 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 nobody in their family wants them, now here they got hope in Lico, and Lico rolls out, man. So I call it the silent killer. We're killing a lot of youth for not even knowing it. We think it's just with the guns on TV. No, there's a lot of silent killing that's going out that Mm -hmm. when we really recognize as men, what we have to offer, and especially as African-American men, right. what we have to offer to the youth, not just black youth, white youth, Chinese youth, we have something great to offer, man, and the consistency, yeah. if nothing else in this interview, consistency has been the wall breaker to really go beyond showing up for the day right. and building a relationship. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and you're saying something, you hit on something, man. Uh, that uh, I think Baba Amin was talking about too. Big shout out to that uh, Baba Amin and the whole conscious movement is that, you know, a lot of us, we talk, we think about guns as being black on black crime and killing, you know, and it's, but it's other things oh. as well. Just when you're talking about that, you Ooh. know, stepping out of your son's life uh, or your kid's life, period, is, is, is black on black crime. You know, it's a lot of things that we don't think about, man. And um, But that's a conscious thought right yeah. there. You yeah. have to be really on your consciousness to uh, to think like that. And Man, I mean, what you've been speaking here, man, and, and, and what I get from what you're talking about is really being consistent. Yeah. Being consistent. Yeah. If you start, I mean, I don't care if one person comes to you, just keep doing it. Yeah, don't all. stop doing don't it because, like I said, it's not about you. Somebody else is looking, Somebody and they're they trying to see how long you're going to do it because, I already, you know, y'all, people I already done counted you out already. Yeah. So when you count, you, you just, the easiest part of it really is quick. Yeah. Yeah, that's the easiest that's part easy. of I mean, Always. if you get into it, it's going to be hard. Always. It ain't going to be easy. People ain't going to be walking with you like they say they were. Yeah. They ain't going to show up like they say they were. Y'all Man, you know what? Tell them a little bit something. Man. You know, consistency is key. What what you realize uh, when you're a trailblazer, the excitement of the run. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to the marathon. Okay. People, I believe, are genuinely excited. But once you start running, mm-hmm. people get tired. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> the only difference with the trailblazer is that he's gonna push past the tiredness. Like you just told me about your schedule. So trailblazers push past, and we're trying to teach other people, listen, for every excuse that I've heard somebody tell me, I got about three or four of myself. Mm. I just didn't use them. Right. It's like having playing cards at the table. I just didn't throw I had the card. I just didn't throw it down. So the consistency to understand that, listen, man, we are needed. Um, you can look to the left, to the right, but I always ask people, what are you doing? Now, yeah, okay, you, what's your name? What's your title? What are you telling me all that for? After you yeah. finish telling me all of that, and I hear you, that's great. You're the president of this. You're the executive director of that. Mm. I hang out with Lico Mac and all that yeah. stuff. When you get done with all that, I'm going to say, okay, what are you doing? What, or what can we do? Yeah. Do. Right. Not talk. Not talk. Do. Yeah. And that's, man, the, the game changer. Man, that's the, so people, I believe people really want to run. Mm-hmm. But see, when you were in the, in the front, uh, God make it make it look easy. Uh-huh. So people say, I want to go ahead and do what Lego do. And the yeah. first trip, you got to make the towel and come back. You're done. Can't even yeah. make the trip. You got to get a hotel. <laughs> so I'm saying that to say that people yeah. generally want to help sometime, but it's up to the leaders, which I've learned. You got to really gauge, you know, um, the person saying they want to run or are they really in shape for what you're trying to do. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to leave people in their place. <laughs> Yeah. Let them function there, yeah. Uh, because you know, I people, I'm a radical. I'll go. Yeah, I'll yeah. go. Yeah, you, you, I'll go, go to New York. Out. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. I will go. Now, well, I mean, been, ain't the part about you going. Yeah. You done been there. Yeah, I done been there. Yeah, he done went. Ain't going so, back. <laughs> you know, so it's the yeah. consistency. And when you tap into purpose like that, that's my whole thing. Is people who are around me, I'm trying to get them to tap into their purpose, purpose, and take a no, not a no nonsense attitude and say, listen, I'm going to do this. And when that decision is made. Is when the doors start to open up. Like you said, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. It's not easy. If it was easy legal, mm-hmm. everybody would be out here yeah. doing it. Yeah. It's not easy. And in the and and it being not easy when people get frustrated or get tired, whatever, you gotta keep it moving, man. You know, yeah. you can help them up for a minute, but after a while, listen, man, you got there's people to help, man. Yeah. Time is ticking, man. Ooh. Time is ticking. So that's it, man. Yeah. You know, it's not easy, but it's worth it. Right. Then when I get these letters, brother. Yeah, because it's not easy. We all have people or, or things that come up to try to stop what we're doing. When these cats give me these letters, yeah, man, yeah, you talk about some kind of airplane fuel in yeah. my system, man, to right. say, 
Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Don't 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 pay attention yeah, to what's not working. Right. Pay attention to what is. That's it. And that, that's it. I tell my wife that too, man. We gotta see the cup half full, yeah. not half empty. You, yeah. we might happen like this. You yeah. might have had an event, had three people there, yeah. but you could have looked at it like <laughs> you that. You had the event. You had you had somebody there. <laughs> so look at it like that. Don't look at it like man, it wasn't nobody Ooh. there, man. Then nobody showed. Somebody showed up. Three people showed up. That's what God man. wanted to show up. Yeah. So start looking at it half full and not half empty, man. man. And then you're just doing it. Oh, hey. E. Wilson definitely in the building, man. I want to thank you so much for his man, Ooh. man, sharing these good words to our family out here, man, and, and, and on the on the YouTube, internet, all over the world, man, with, with what you be what you doing with JTC on the move, man. You got any closing words for the for our family out there? Well, I think you just said, um uh what did you just say? You said um, um uh, you gotta do it. Um the thought you just hit something and I'm glad you can edit this because you can cut this out. Sorry. But um uh uh man, what did you just say? Uh close remark. Uh, it's not gonna be easy. Yeah. But it'll be worth it. This is what I live for, you know. What is that? To impact, you know, have a conversation, make it a good one. What is what let me just explain that. Let's just end on that. If you're gonna have a conversation, that's what we say. If you're gonna have a conversation, make it a good one. It says, if you're going to have a conversation, which everybody, excuse me, is talking, mm -hmm. whether on Facebook, Twitter, in person, texting, make it. That word, make it, is the key word in that sentence. Mm -hmm. Not a good one, but make it because it takes a conscious effort with all the negative that we get in on a daily basis to you have to make it an effort to change something negative into positive. So I want to encourage somebody out there, like he said, half full half full don't look at who left don't look at what you don't have look at what you do have it would be insane for me to say that i have only one towel well right now that's all i need uh. and if the towel ain't working i still got the towel i can't complain about i don't have two towels so that stuff just come become stumbling blocks and next thing you know five ten years done went by and you're losing yeah. ground so i want to encourage somebody out there today listen life's too short you got to tap into your purpose it's not going to be easy, but like Legal Max said, it'll be worth it. If you want more information on JTC, you want to know where we're at? www.jtconthemove.org. It's all right there. If you want to sign up to volunteer with us with some of the stuff we got going on, go to the Contact Us link. But everything is right there. If you want to give a donation, all donations are tax deductibles. The website is proof of the work that we're doing. It's not all on there because uh, people won't even have time to go through the whole website. But there's enough on there to let you know that if you believe, and you got a made up mind, you can make change. Wow. One person, yeah. two people, 50, 100, it don't matter. That's what you said. One person comes to the event, you got to ask yourself, have you ever had an event? No. So you're one event up. Never look at it. It'll be tough. Look at who didn't show up, who didn't give, because we're going to take the focus on who did. Yeah, that real talk. Woo! Yeah. JTC. On the move. On the move, baby. Hey, y'all, follow my man on Facebook, man. I'm telling you, Eric Wilson on Facebook. Uh, uh, man, doing doing great things, man, and I appreciate you again. Yeah. You know, lending your few minutes right here on Try yeah, TV, yeah, man. And uh, man, I tell TV you what, man, I, I want to say uh, well, before we end it, I got to say, go Cowboys. And I know he he not a Cowboy fan. What, what you want to say? Listen, you know what? You know what? Listen, I Cowboys. I had a choice between the Cowboys and the Redskins. I had to take the Cowboys. You know, you but I do think that the Cowboys, you know. Are, are have great potential this year. The quarterback, you know, and so I, my my thing. I keep tripping out on these cowboy fans because you know a week ago you couldn't find one. Huh. Now this <laughs> week they starting to pop up out the closet. I'm just trying to help them be consistent. So yeah, yeah. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Yes, we are two and zero. Yes, we are the six time Super Bowl champions on top. That's yes. it. So, okay. but but even in that, the people that were watching on the field are doing what we're talking about. They were on purpose. And now they're experiencing the fruits of their labor through right. football. What we go and watch, they're getting paid for because they focused in. They didn't get discouraged when they got cut from a team, when somebody didn't pick them up. Michael Jordan got cut in the 11th grade, still messing him up to this day. But he proved everybody wrong. So the stuff, let me tell you, the stuff that we're watching is so wrapped in purpose. Yeah. Enjoy it. But when you hear the interviews, catch training at night and going overboard and all that stuff, that's what successful people do. They on yeah. the move. They make it happen. Yeah. They really do. And I want to give a big shout out to E Man for always wearing. Have you ever seen this brother? Yeah. You're always going to see him brand. Yeah. See, I yeah. got Dallas on. I ain't getting paid by Dallas, but I just like to have that. Yeah. And a big shout out to my wife for getting the hat. Uh, but but right, you want to you want to do what he's doing right there. Yeah. I mean, I don't care how much you take, you definitely want to brand yourself with your yeah. stuff, you know, with your things. And so I, I just want to put that out there, man. Let, let me let me hit on that yeah. real quick. It, the, the, first off, 
it makes no sense for me to wear Nike. I don't have no problem with Nike or Under Armour or anybody else, but they're not helping us to help the kids. Right. The whole concept with the branding was to raise money to fund the organization because you need money to function. Mm -hmm. But we began to get creative with it. We made hats, we made shirts, we made, you know, um, wow. towels, you know, um, headbands, dress shirts, sweatsuits. Um, so we can continue to want fund the organization, but at the same time, the shirt becomes a conversation piece. And the thing that I really appreciate about, like you said, one people, two people about being small is that everywhere I go, everywhere I go, people are looking. Mm -hmm. If it was Nike, they wouldn't pay it no mind because they already know what Nike is. It's already branded in. I'm on the upcoming. So when I go somewhere, if I'm on an airplane or something, there's always a conversation. JTC, what is that? Cool. You don't know if that's the next donor, if that's the next volunteer, you never know. So branding, like you said, you're not getting paid, you know, that's another one of those areas where, you know, you ain't got to wear JTC. Make your own shirt. Yeah. You know, I mean, make your own shirt. This is this is um, uniform. Yeah. This is right off. Yeah. <laughs> so Nike, you know, they're not giving me. When Nike start giving us checks, then you see me with a Nike hat on. There and I'll go. say we will thank Nike for their sponsorship. But until then, listen, we're going to stay on the move. We got shorts. We got, we got my shorts right oh, yeah, here yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. So, you know, we got it all, man, because yeah. it's about using everything you got. Right. That's it. Using everything. everything you got. Don't use part of the stuff in the kitchen. Use everything. That's right. That's right. If, if Nike signed him, I'm pretty sure Nike going to be on the other side over here. Yeah. She's still going to have a logo on this side, yeah. but Nike going to be on the other side. Yeah, right absolutely. Yeah. But anyway, man, we definitely here, man, in beautiful Euless, uh, uh, Texas, man. I'll tell you what, I'm glad to be out here. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Man, we got it in, man. Thank you again, brother. Thank Keep you. doing your thing, man. JTC. Thank you. On the Move. Man, we're going to get on the move right here, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you what, your boy Lico Mac, we're bridging the community through hip hop right here on Tri TV, man. And we'll see y'all next time, man. Y'all be safe. God bless. Ooh.